Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve one of uh, the AP uh, question, and this question is from College Board. So we ha here we have a dart is launched toward the center of a sphere. The sphere is hanged uh, from the ceiling by a string, as shown in this figure. The mass of the dart is MD and the mass of the sphere is 5 md so the sphere is uh, the sphere's mass is five times the mass of the dart now after collision after collision both of them they would stick together and they will go distance delta y so a maximum vertical height delta y the question is draw the relationship between the kinetic energy of the dart and the sphere system at different time time before collision tc and at the maximum height which is tm and here is given to you graph where you have to uh, plot the relationship between kinetic energy of dart and sphere system with time Second part of the question, you need to drive expression for the velocity of the system, VC, of the dart sphere system after the dart collide with the sphere. And you have to express VC in terms of mass of the dart length and the length of the string and the initial velocity of the dart. And second part of the question, drive also expression for the maximum vertical height, delta y. Okay. How are we going to solve this question? Okay. Now, here, let's just go back here a little bit to this one. Okay, now before TC, TC, which is a time of collision, we have only the dart that was moving and it was moving horizontally with constant speed. That means the kinetic energy of the dart is constant while the sphere was stationary. It wasn't moving. So the only kinetic energy before TC, it was the kinetic energy of the dart. So it's going to be horizontal vertical line and it's constant in, entirely due to the dart. Now, during collision, at time of, of collision, the dart and the sphere, the sphere, they stick together. So here we have perfectly inelastic collision meaning the kinetic energy is not conserved during the collision. We will have some loss of the kinetic energy. Since we have some loss of the kinetic energy, that means we will have drop in the kinetic energy. It will go down. And then what will happen? This kinetic energy of the system, of this compo, it will convert it after they stick together. It will convert it completely to gravitational potential energy at the maximum height delta y that means the kinetic energy keeps dropping till it reach zero at t maximum t maximum where all the kinetic energy is being converted to gravitational potential energy so the system the kinetic energy decreases smoothly till zero as the center of masses mass rises this is the graph. Now, second part of the question. Okay. We need to drive expression for the velocity of the dart system, VC. Now, we can do this one using the conservation of conservation of uh, momentum. Okay, 
So what we're going to do, we use the conservation of momentum. Before, before collision and after collision, before and after, before and after. Before and after here, after. I have dart and ball. The mass of the dart is MD, mass of the ball is 5 MD. Dart was moving with velocity V0, and this one was stationary. Okay. After collision, this is the momentum before collision. Momentum is mass times velocity, so you multiply M mass of the dart time it is velocity plus 5 md times velocity is zero so this one is gone zero this is momentum before equals now momentum after same mass dart has mass md and ball has mass 5 md they would stick together stick together that means they will have the same mass so if i add md plus 5 md it would become 6 md and they will move with the same velocity, which is Vc. So I can multiply Md times Vc. This is the momentum after. So this will equal 6 Md times Vc. This is the conservation of momentum. So I can solve this equation now. So I will have MD V0 equals 6 MD times VC. MD and MD, I can cancel them from both sides. So we'll have here V0 equals 6 VC. So if I need the velocity of the system, VC, divide both sides by 6. So it will be V0 divided by 6. And this is... the first part of the question. Okay, so first part of the question, drive an expression for the velocity Vc of the dart sphere system, done. Now, second part of the question, we need to drive an expression for the maximum vertical height of the dart sphere system. Above it is position at the time of the collision. Again, I'm going to use this time, not the conservation of momentum, the conservation of energy. We'll use the conservation of energy. Okay. Conservation of energy. Mechanical energy initial equals mechanical energy final mechanical energy initial or before equals mechanical energy final at the beginning this start with the sphere they collide together and both of them they move together so that means they have kinetic energy so the initial energy that we start up with is kinetic energy for both dart and sphere and this will equal, both of them now, they will go up the maximum height, delta y. So the type of energy here is gravitational potential energy for the system. Okay. So I'm going to use the formula, half m v square. So it will be half mass for the dart and the sphere is 6 md times the velocity of the system, which is vc squared, equals mgh. Gravitational potential energy is mass times 
free fall acceleration times maximum height. So the mass of the system, both dart and the sphere, is 6 md times g times delta y maximum. Okay, now here md and md, they cancel out. And we know from, uh, from the first uh, part of this question that Vc equals V0 divided by 6. So if we plug this value here, and 6 and 6 from both sides, they can cancel out. So we'll have half Vc squared, which is V0 squared, divided by 6 squared, which is 36 equals g times delta y maximum delta y maximum so i can find delta y maximum here just find, uh, divide both side by g so delta y maximum will equal half uh, uh, two times 36 so we'll have v naught square divided by 72 and divide both side by g so g